Dead Web, a new way to identify yourself on the internet. Dead Web enables global unique self-sovereign identifiers for individuals, companies and devices with the goal to blend decentralized identity principles with the traditional web. Let's now look a bit deeper in understanding the DIT web. The DIT specification offers flexibility. You can implement different methods and web is one of them. And the method in particular is a protocol that defines the rules for working with the DIT. And therefore the DIT web defines the rules for working with decentralized identifiers within the domain name system also called DNS, and thereby it enables domain owners to create, manage, and expose their digital identity, so their DIT, especially the DIT document, which is the public part of a DIT, to others through their domain. And the great thing about DIT Web is it simplifies the adoption and implementation for companies because it leverages already established web standards. The downside, however, is the security limitation, which depends on the safety of the website, which is hosting the DIT document. So let's now look how a DIT web actually looks like. The standardized method for DITs is always starting with a DIT, then the method, so in our case web, and then a method specific unique identifier. So in practice, this would look like this. So if you would decide at Walt ID to have a DIT publicly available under our domain, it would be DIT web Walt ID, and it would be hosted on the well-known DIT.json path. And if you would visit this endpoint, you would get back the public part of our DIT, which is a DIT document. There's also another version, which includes paths, which is then defined as did web world ID and then user and Alice, which is the path, but it could be anything. And this is the standard around the did web. So everyone knows that they can resolve it, visit the path and then get back a did document. Let's now see how you can use the world ID tooling to create your dead web in just a few seconds. I have here right in my terminal the latest version of the SSI kit and I can just type SSI kit did create choose the method so web and my domain where I want to host the did which is just now example.com and with that our tooling creates in the background the private and public key, creates the DIT, and exposes you the DIT document. And so you can take now this DIT document and put it on your website at this specific path. You can also do the same thing, but provide the path, let's say user, Alice, and you also get here the same thing now with the path enabled. And this is like one way of working with our products, the CLI tool. But you can also use our libraries for Java and Kotlin or even the REST service where you can just use any programming language and talk to the REST service and create your DIT web and host it on your domain. Another great way, if you just want to play around and create your first DIT and have it publicly available, you can use and go to our wallet, so wallet.waltestcloud login and log in with any email and password combination. And again, go there to settings, ecosystems, and here the web. And now I can just create a did web. I don't insert any domain here, so it will be hosted on, on this domain of the wallet. So I just generate that. And here we are. So I have now my did web. And the great thing is I can just now take this DIT and I still have the SSI kit open and actually resolve it. So typing SSI kit DIT resolve and providing the DIT I just got back, I will receive the DIT document. So it was hosted, it's hosted on this domain and it, based on the DIT standards, which are defined on 
for the DIT method web, I can now resolve the DIT and receive a DIT document, which I can use to verify any signatures which might have been signed by this DIT holder. Now it's your turn. Start for free and create your first DIT web with our Vault ID SSI kit. Visit our website at vault.id slash SSI kit or click the link in the description to get directly to the docs and start issuing DIT webs. With that, happy building. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and see you next time.